right, so let's put this on you. I'm just gonna put it on here. I've got the shoulder snaps adjusted. I'm gonna take a look and see if that's right or not since it's been around. Um, so it does adjust up here. So I'm gonna bring it up higher because I think it needs to fit a little higher for you. You can see there's four sets of snaps okay. here and they adjust all the way down. So I think it's gonna be right for you on the top. So we got that there. I'm gonna loosely buckle you in now. Mm -hmm. Right. And just with your arms down by your side, is it comfortable? Yes, okay. it is. So that's what it should be. So if you want to fit it higher than lower, just by virtue of where the motors are in the axle, mm -hmm. we want them to be above your rib cage and then below your clavicle, because that's where your lungs sit in your body. Okay. And so that's how we want to fit it. So we'll start loose. And I'm going to snug you in. Okay. So we want it to fit snug, not, not loose, because okay. if it's really loose, it's not going to get Make sure that we don't have a gap of more than five inches, and you fit perfectly into that. Yes. You could have an overlap too, but not going to apply to you. Okay. Um, with these, again, it doesn't want to rest on your shoulders. It should be just placement. So this determines where the afoba sits, yes. and the, the straps here are what hold it in place. Okay. So if you ever think that you might not have it snug enough, just mm -hmm. think if it's sitting on your shoulder, and you feel weight here, mm -hmm. if you pull it up a little bit, it should stay up. Okay. Or if you unsnap them, it shouldn't fall down. Okay. And that's how you know it fits snug enough. Mm -hmm.